Now let's welcome back New Zealand's favourite naturopath, Lani Lopez. Good morning, Lani. Good morning. And today you're going to be talking about showing us some natural body scrubs. Crikey, you look like you're all business. You've got the gloves on and everything. Oh, it's just business time here. <laughs> so uh, why should we be using body scrubs? Well, you use them because they help the skin fight infection. They keep it nice and smooth and they help turn the skin over. So our skin sloughs off older cells and then the new cells come up but you, you do it very very gently yeah okay so it's going to help fight infection as well I didn't know that well you know something about the skin is that it's got an acid mantle so it should be acid and not alkaline so give me your hand the one um, with writing on it that's how I wrote my you notes. mind if I write that off yeah it's all right I remembered it now <laughs> okay so I'm just putting okay. apple cider vinegar directly onto your skin okay because the skin is acid and that stops bugs from getting in there. Okay. If you're using too many soaps, it can actually make it alkaline, um, turn it into alkalinized mantle, and that's not good. Wow. So you just rub this on? Yep, rubbing that on, and then um, just gently, we're going to compare one hand to the other if you like, just okay. gently exfoliating the skin. I would make a bit more effort with them if I knew this. <laughs> <laughs> And we've got some different um, skin scrubs here. This is a very traditional one with turmeric, ginger <gasps> in it. And I might put your hand over here because it's yep. really messy. I've I got these huge that, sleeves too. Let me just move those. I know that it looks like baby poo. That's all right. I'm all about the turmeric at the moment. I'm a turmeric <laughs> right. evangelist. I yeah. love the stuff. How often should you be using body scrubs? Uh, really good question. I think people do it too often because mm -hmm. they want the benefit straight away, but really just once or twice a week. And you can make them yourself, can't you? You don't need to buy necessarily body scrubs? Well there are chemical ones that are recommended so you've got your salicylic acid for oily skin then you've got your alpha hydroxy acids and you can find these in your health store and that's for normal to dry skin and then um, glycolic acid and that's if you're getting a lot of pigmentation. Right so it's not just one size fits all you really have no. to look at what's for because I would have sort of just scrub with anything really for your body I hadn't given it much thought if I had one in the shower I just like lather it on everywhere <laughs> well if you compare your skin now I you probably can't see that but can... oh, I smell divine and it, smell looks, it looks so much more smooth and it can get rid of um, crepey skin which I get as I get older. Excellent. No, I really like that. <laughs> and okay. we can make your own. Great. So show me what you're going to do here to make your own because I know that oatmeal is a very good thing to be scrubbing with, isn't well, it? Well, it's just gentle. I mean, a lot of people use black walnut and crusted shells, but it is too rough. It makes your skin too raw. So I've mixed oatmeal and we've got honey and then you can use pawpaw or kiwi fruit because those are natural enzymes which break down the top skin layer. So if you give me have it for hand. a snack afterwards actually. You just have it for <laughs> well, breakfast. You could. I mean if you put it on your face it's a mask and you can lick it off and that's really lovely. Yum. And then I've brought a couple of um, things that you can add in kefir um, yogurt. It's right. very good for your skin. And then once you have prepared your skin with your scrubs, these are my favourites. This is Itchy Dry Skin Hopes Relief. It actually works really well if you've got eczema. And I love Pure Fiji. I'm a big fan of that too. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very nice light moisturiser that the gets body. into the mm. skin. And, uh, and I don't think having too thick a moisturiser can cause um, blackheads and whiteheads. So we want to avoid that. Okay, so this, this, uh, this um, oatmeal and uh, honey one, you can just put on your whole body, then jump into the shower and rinse it off? Yeah, if you're that keen. Well, why not be keen? You might yeah, as well go great. in. <laughs> okay, so just do that to your hand. Okay. Um, look, you know, a lot of these things you can use both on your body and your face. And I think if you're just doing it very gently and not doing it too hard and rubbing your skin too raw, then you want to go natural. And um, But if you're into chemicals, then, you know, um, there are specific ones that you need to use. So talk to your beauty therapist about that. Okay, so do a little bit of research on that. So right. My skin, my, uh, the, my one hand feels beautiful. <laughs> well, can we stay around and do the other one a little Absolutely. bit later on, I think, too? Lani Lopez, a pleasure as always. Thank you so much. You're always welcome. lots of fun. And if you'd like more information, head along to Lani's website, lanilopez.com.